there is absolutely no doubt we have amazing people doing great work and we should tell the world when the time feels right. You're welcome to this channel Afriburn TV and today I'd like to share with you the Kemi Adetiba story. Kemi Adetiba, born on the 8th of January 1980, is a Nigerian filmmaker, television director and music video director whose works have appeared on Channel O, MTV Base, Sound City TV, BET and Netflix. Kemi Adetiba started her journey into the media as a young child where she headlined two national television commercials for the detergent brand Omo, towing the path of her father Dele Adetiba and her mother Mayen Adetiba. With a bachelor's degree in law from the University of Lagos, Kemi started out professionally as a radio presenter with Rhythm 93.7 FM, where she became the voice behind two nationally syndicated hit shows Sold Out and Sunday at the Seaside. She started anonymously posting personal remixes online on various applications such as Spotify and SoundCloud under the username and tag here. Kemi Adetiba began to make a transition from being a voice on the radio to being a face on the television by producing and presenting several shows on Mnet, which includes Studio 53. Kemi was also a presenter on Sound City TV and hosted Maltina Dance All for three consecutive seasons. After years of success being in front of the camera, Kemi Adetiba enrolled into the New York Film Academy to learn the ropes about being behind the cameras and today, her bodies of work as a director are spread across the African continent and beyond its borders. Kemi Adetiba's short film Across the Blooded Ocean was screened at the 2009 Pan-African Film Festival and National Black Arts Festival. On the 8th of September 2016, Kemi Adetiba's first feature film The Wedding Party, a Nigerian rom-com film, premiered opening night at the Toronto International Film Festival, TIFF as the opening film of the City to City Spotlight. In 2017, she was presenting the show King Women where she interviewed her mother Mayen Adetiba. Other former King Women included Chigo, Taiwo Ajayi Lyset, Tiwai Belo, and Tara Drutoi. Kemi was nominated for Best Music Video Director of the Year at the Hedis 2014. She won the City People Entertainment Award for being the Best Music Video Director of the Year in the year 2015. Kemi Adetiba got engaged to the love of her life, Oscar Hemen Aka, on the 28th of January 2022. You remember sometimes in the year 2017, she shared a post where she wrote, I will be 38 in just over a month and a half and while I would love to be married to my God-chosen companion and best friend and have children, I am very comfortable with the knowledge that my life is just as valid and beautiful and happy and successful if for some reason that never comes to pass. Marriage and kids not in my crown in glory. It it's another beautiful step in life I would love to take. I would also love to make and keep a billion dollars in my lifetime, but I won't be any less of a woman or Kemi Adetiba if that didn't come to pass either. I'm not comparing the two, I'm just highlighting it doesn't diminish a woman's worth if it never happens. I guess dreams and desires do come true as her marriage is now a done deal. This happened while she was on vacation in Ghana. Family and a few friends and colleagues of hers were in attendance. On April 23rd, 2022, Kemi Adetiba officially married Oscar Hemen Aka, whom she has been engaged to earlier. She officially tied the knot in a star-studded wedding. I hope this was a beautiful story. Remember to like, share, and leave your comments in the comment section below. Also, remember to subscribe to this channel, Afriban TV, so you can be one of the first people to get notified when we tell new stories. Thank you for watching.